Did you record it? Yeah. Do you want this tuna one? I'm gonna take this down off. That was pretty stuck on. Good job, Alan. Why you kick so many? I did. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Hi friends and welcome to another studio vlog. Uh, today we are packing Patreon goodie bags. Last night I spent all day, yesterday? Yesterday I spent all day cutting stickers so here is my stack. It's like half the height of my face, half of the height of my face, more than half. Wow. Maybe someday we'll get to We'll get to this much, this many stickers. But yeah, I was cutting stickers yesterday from about 2 p.m., 1 p.m. to um, midnight, to past midnight. But I got them all done, and now we are um, printing out the thank you cards, which I print like this. I print four on a page, and then I cut it, and then I handwrite everybody's names, and then I have like more art on the bags so that people can keep them or I don't know throw them away if they don't want them <laughs> uh yeah and what else are we doing today um we are going to go to the grocery store because yesterday was Canadian Thanksgiving it was also um, Indigenous Peoples Day so happy belated Indigenous Peoples Day and um I was really tired yesterday so I didn't get to go to the grocery store but I like to make cranberry sauce um for Thanksgiving because I like cranberry sauce and it seems like a good excuse. So we're gonna go to the store and buy a rotisserie chicken and some potatoes and cranberries and some kind of vegetable and I'm very excited about it. Um, what else? Yesterday I got to journal for the first time for the, like in, for the past year. I journaled for the first time um, this year because we went apple picking last weekend which was so fun. Um, we went with Alan's parents and Alan's dad ended up having a lot of fun throwing apples to try and like hit the other apples that were on the tree. That's Alan's strategy for getting the apples down and his dad was really into it. But yeah, it was so fun. Oh, um, on the way to the apple picking farm, because we went in, um, we went to a farm in New Jersey. They, we saw quite a few uh, Trump signs. So this is just your gentle reminder to vote this year because I'm sure they'll be voting. Uh, and even in like parts of the country where you would think are very liberal and always blue, you know, people who support Trump are also there. So this is just your, your gentle uh, weekly reminder <laughs> that you should be voting this year if you can and if you are um, eligible. 
Okay, that's it for my spiel. Um, yeah, I am just going to take my time cutting all of these goodie bag things out and packing them. So, um, if you want, you can come along on the journey. Hello friends, it's Thursday now, um, I haven't checked in in a while, but I got all the Patreon goodie bags mailed out and I have everything that I needed to do today, I finished, um, so I'm feeling like butt, so we're gonna make a pie instead of being productive. Yeah. Oh, earlier I put in an order for um, wooden pins, a batch of wooden pins, and I also I contacted a manufacturer about acrylic charms and I'm very very excited. I am um, I've been planning for a holiday ho I've been planning for a holiday update and hopefully everything comes through. I'm excited. But yeah, still feeling like butt, so despite the excitement, so I'm gonna make apple pie. Um yeah, I am following the binging with Babish recipe. I used to use um a French apple tart recipe, but the last pie I made um, this past weekend for Alan's parents, I used this American apple pie recipe and it turned out really good, so I'm gonna make it again. So let's do it!
happy Sunday. Um, it is past noon, and this morning I have already, what did I do? I, um, wrote my bi-weekly update to my Patreon, which was very long, and it ended up getting very sappy. But yeah. And I, um, worked on some commissions, and I sent off, um, an approval for making acrylic charms. Um, I decided that I really wanted to make acrylic charms um, for my Starry Ink bottle, Starry Night Ink, that I illustrated back in February, which is like old, but it's this one. Um, yeah, I adjusted it a little bit because there are some parts of the illustration that I wasn't in love with, but now I like it a lot more, and I think I'm going to make it into an acrylic charm, which is so exciting. Um, I'm only doing a small batch. I'm doing 25 units because I am, like, deathly scared of ordering too much and then not selling them. Because, um, if you might remember, last year I made two enamel pins. I made this one, my little poke poke enamel pin, and my red panda enamel pin. Let me grab them. This one. Which I still really love. I think it's so cute. But as you can tell, I have quite a few left. And now, because of it, I'm very scared of like ordering too much merch and then not being able to sell them. So everything I'm ordering for my shop update for the holidays is a really small batch. I'm doing 25 acrylic charms of the ink bottle and 25 um, wooden pins. I mean, well, 50 wooden pins, 25 of my Be Cute and Anti-Racist illustration because I really like it and I think it would make a really cute like lapel pin and um, 25 of my Starry Whale illustration, which I don't think I've shown you but I can show it to you now if my um, thing will do what I want to do. Okay, this boy, because um, it's really small and, and it's like simple enough that I think it will work well as a wooden pin. But yeah, I'm really excited. Um, apart from that, I want to show you some stuff that I've made recently. Um, on Friday night, I made myself these little earrings. Please ignore my acne. <laughs> but they're little, it's a little candy cane earring with um, a little ghosty. And then on this side, it's a little candy cane with a pumpkin. I'll show you better shots of this um, here. But I, so I haven't been able to wear earrings since college because I realized in college that um, I was very allergic to like most kinds of cheap earring metals and I was too cheap to pay for real gold because it's expensive. So I basically stopped wearing earrings um, my freshman year of college and I recently realized, had the epiphany that I could just buy earring findings that are made out of stainless steel, which is what I had when like they pierced my ears because you don't, like most people aren't allergic to that. and. Um, now I can make my own earrings, which is so exciting. And now, and I decided I really wanted like a pair of ridiculous Halloween earrings because Halloween is coming and I don't really celebrate Halloween, but I like spoopy things. So I made a little spoopy ghost and a little pumpkin and I'm so proud of them. I also made myself some little strawberry studs. Let me show you. Aren't they so cute? I think they're so cute. Yeah. So. I sketched a couple of ideas for some more pins, I mean not more pins, more earrings. Um, so I was thinking I might make them today or tomorrow, so I will film it for you guys and we can make some clay things together. And I was thinking I might um, open them for, for pre-order in my shop, on my holiday shop update, I might like add them in, slide them in for a pre-order to see if there was there's any interest. I'm not going to make them beforehand because I've done them before and it ends up being not really worth it because I'm, I spend a lot of time making stuff with the intention to sell and then not being able to sell them. <laughs> so now I'm just going to make them for myself and then if people want them, I'll make them for them too. Yeah. 
but yeah, I really like them. I think they're really cute and really ridiculous, and I'm excited to show my little sister when I call her next week, because she's gonna be- she's gonna roll her eyes and be like, that's ridiculous. But yeah. I'm really happy. And what else? You can see Alan in the background. I think he's making breakfast. Oh, I also finished making this. It's a giant poncho sweater thing. I will show pictures of me wearing it because it's too warm to put it on right now. But Alan got me this knitting kit. Oh. Alan got me this knitting kit like two years ago and it took so long to make but it's done now, finally. And I can wear it and it's really cozy and I will wear it when we have our windows open because our super leaves the heat on uh, and makes it too hot. But yeah. And now I can work on my other knitting projects. Yeah, okay. So for today, now that I'm done rambling, for today I am going to be packing up a couple orders and then um, I have to do my Cozy Tober paintings. Um, I am all caught up. I am, I finished today. Today's the 18th, so I've done day 18, which was boba which I can show you. This one. I think it turned out really cute. Um, I wouldn't have come up with this like color scheme for painting a boba, um, but because I did a limited color palette for Cozy Tober, Cozy Cafe, whatever, this month, um, I think it turned out really cute. And all of the little bobas have um, faces on them. Because you know me, I like putting faces on everything. So. I have that done, and I'm going to paint day 19 and, and day 20 today, hopefully, at least. I'm um, gonna try to make time to make some more of these earrings. Or I, I guess I can show you some of my sketches for my earrings. I'm really excited about this one. This one little um, rainbow. This one. Please ignore how terrible my sketches are, but had this idea for this little like cloud and rainbow um, earring and I think the little cloud will have a little face on it has per use and yeah now. Um, I packed all the orders, which didn't take that long, and I ate some food, and I procrastinated a little bit, and I painted my next two Cozy Tobers. So this one is tomorrow's um, day 19. It's uh, for the prompt soup, and I painted kind of a miso soup kind of thing with a happy little bowl. And then the day after is pie, so I painted the apple pie that um, I've been making, which is a, a lattice top pie. I think it turned out pretty cute. I did um, some negative painting for the apple pieces, and yeah, I really like how the effect turned out. So, what am I going to do now? What am I going to do? I don't know. Um... The only thing I had left to do on my list, other than filming the studio vlog, is um, to work on a commission, but I don't really feel like painting that quite yet. 
So instead, what I'm thinking is I am going to start doing all of the shaping for um, my various little clay things that I want to make for myself. So um, my uh, little earrings, and I had this idea that I forgot to, to sketch, but I just remembered uh, of making little dumpling earrings because I think that would be really cute, just little like dangly dumplings. And yeah, so I am going to put you on a tripod so you can have a top down view and we're gonna start making some clay things. I just finished shaping all of my um, little clay thingies and they have been baked and so now I'm just waiting for them to cool but I thought I would show you what they look like. So I have a little eggy one which I think is going to be like a pin or a magnet for my fridge and a little mushroom one which is the uh, same deal, um, pin or magnet. Two little dumpling earrings, well I guess one pair but yeah. <laughs> I wrapped them just like how I would wrap a real dumpling, so that was really fun for me. Um, I made this little rainbow and cloud, so the idea is that the rainbow is going to be under the cloud. Um, these are just poked in for like start- ah, it's hot! For starter holes. And then I'm going to take them out and super glue them in. And then I made little apple earrings. These are uh, meant to be studs, but I'm not sure if it's going to work yet because I have really small ears. So I have to test it, but yeah. So the next step for making these is I am going to wait for them to cool because right now they're very hot. And then I'm going to sand them because I realized when I was making my... Um, I took them off, but I realized when I was making my Halloween earrings that um, I can sand them to make them smoother. Which is nice because right now, since I'm just making them by hand and basically with an X-Acto knife, they have a lot of imperfections. They have a lot of imperfections, so now I'm just going to sand them down and kind of remove a layer of the imperfections. They're still like, they're never going to be completely perfect because I kind of like the handmade look. But yeah, I'm excited. I think that they're going to turn out real cute. And... I think for today I'm just going to uh, sand these and then probably call it a night because it is 7 p.m. I haven't had dinner yet. I'm not hungry yet because I had instant ramen at like 4 p.m.
Hi friends! So, um, I uh, haven't updated you in a while, but I made my clay things and I painted them last night with acrylics, which I showed. I tried to make my little dumplings look like they were um, fried, but I don't know if it looks super fried. They look lightly fried, but yeah. And I have um, a little eggy that I'm gonna draw, and it kind of looks like a flower, which I like. I like that it looks like a flower and like an eggy, and a little mush, and these little apples that I'm debating if I should make into studs or into tiny magnets. Let's see. Will it be? It might be too big for a stud, you know? But it might just be because I have really small ears. <laughs> Um, and then my little clouds, my little clouds, and they will be paired with my rainbows, so it'll look like this. I think that will look really cute. But yeah, so I, today I'm going to decorate them a little bit more with my poscas, 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 and apart from that, um, I also want to design some backing cards for my, um, uh, wooden pins that are coming and my acrylic charms that I ordered. I'm very excited about it um, So that's what we're doing today apart from like my other obligations like work things and stuff so finished my little clay friends. They are currently, I glazed them with UV resin. Um, I got some UV resin on the interwebs and this sun is very intense. Um, and I'm using it to glaze my clay friends, but the sun is like kind of in and out today. So hopefully they will cure and dry properly. It's been, I've, I've been waiting quite a while, but that's fine. And I also finished my backing cards that I um, I wanted to design. I decided to do kind of a cloud um, sunset kind of drawing. Just a really quick illustration um, because, you know, I tend to draw a lot of clouds and they make me happy. So I thought it would look really cute, especially because um, the things that I ordered are kind of well, some of the things that I ordered are kind of galaxy themed. Um, I mean, some of the things I ordered are definitely galaxy themed. Some of the things I ordered are not galaxy themed, but the color scheme works anyway, so I think it's fine. And I, I designed it in a way that um, I can cut them into squares. So, because um, I ordered business cards that are standard size, so two inches by three and a half inches, and I designed them so that um, not, none of the artwork gets cut off when I cut it to two inches by two inches for like my little pins and stuff because I need the three inch size for the acrylic charms but I wanted um, something square for my other things like my pins and stuff so I'm excited um yeah I think that I'm going to end the studio vlog here we did quite a bit this time we've been working on a lot of cozy tober paintings um, and we made these little clay things and I don't really remember what else I filmed but I've been doing some knitting oh I impulse bought <laughs> um, so I've been uh, time traveling in Animal Crossing because I decided that uh, rules are dumb and I wa really wanted the mushroom items and so um, 
I realized today that Isabella wears this really cute little brown, like orangey brown, rust brown sweater in the fall with like a little Cosmos embroidered patch on her chest. And then I decided that I also really needed a sweater that was like cable knit and brown and with a little Cosmos patch. Um, so I impulse ordered a bunch of yarn. <laughs> so that will probably be in my next studio vlog of just me getting my yarn and being very excited and starting yet another knitting project because I don't have enough already. And um, Alan did shame me a little bit because I have quite a bit of yarn uh, in my stash under my desk that I'm not going to show you because it is rather shameful. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really excited. I am excited to uh, someday be able to match with Isabel, who is the cutest. I'm sorry about the music. People are being very noisy. I live in a very noisy neighborhood because it's New York. Um, are, you, are you done? Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna shade my face so that you can actually see it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I think I'm gonna call it, uh, call it the end of the studio vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I love you all very, very much. I hope you're staying safe out there. Uh, don't forget that I always have uh, petitions and uh, places to donate uh, in the description box, just, you know, of like things that are important that are not art things, but just like world things that we should be aware of. And also, please, please, please remember to vote because uh, uh, I like having rights. So um, yeah, please vote. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Alright, thank you so much for watching again, and I love you all so much, and thank you so much for being part of my cozy little space on the internet. Is my eyeliner all over my face? Yeah, it is. Huh. That's embarrassing. Well, I'm not gonna refilm this, so... Bye, friends. <laughs>